Welcome to a brand new What If series. The only problem with this one is that I have to make the story from scratch, kind of like the What If Deku Died one, which I still need to f fix. Well, no, not fix. Um, finish writing the part two. But um, this one is really cool. I mean, I'm pretty sure by the outfit you could just tell what it is. So this is What If Deku Was isekai to Demon Slayer. And it's not going to be at a young age. It's going to be like later on. Not 14, but close. So this is what's happening, basically. Um, so Deku's 11. Yeah, he's going to be 11 in this. No, not, well, at the beginning anyways. So, you know, it was just another day being bullied. For being quirkless, he has like a. Uh, he was kind of beat up, but he doesn't have any like. It, you can't notice really. He's just like a little like covered in dirt and stuff, but you know he showered and stuff, so he got rid of that. But there's no ris really uh physical damage like. You can't see. He doesn't have like a black eye. So, stuff like that. So, he's kind of fine, but, you know, he was still bullied. So, he's knocked out. He falls asleep, lays down in his bed. And when he wakes up, he's not in his bed. He's in another one. And uh, people are standing around him. What the hell? Where am I? And um, then... Uh, he sees, like, everybody with swords, and he's, like, um, they're, like, they're all, like, at the same, they all say at the same time, who are you, and how did you break, how dare you break into the master's room? Um, and, and then, um, the taller dude with tears coming down his eyes says, I will put pity on you when I kill you. I don't. I forget how he sounds. You know, I only you only hear him like only say a few words in the anime. So, and I just and um, this is all gonna be all their voices are gonna, basically gonna be based off what I think they sound like in dub because I didn't watch the dub version of the anime. And then um, so this one he's just like um. And then he's like, what? Why would you kill me? What did I do wrong? Also, where am I? And then, you know, girl with purple hair at the set at the end said, um, you're the Hashira, the demon slayer pillars, the best of the best. So what is your name? And she said with a smile, it's like, my name is Izuka Midoriya. I went to sleep in my home and. Now I'm here. Where is this place? This is the home. Uh, this is the home of the leader of the demon slayers. Said uh, some dude with black hair. With um, with weird looking kimono. And she's then uh, this girl from before. She's like, I suppose we should give you our name since you gave us yours. My name is Shinobu Kocho. And, um, um, then it was, uh, I think it was the, yeah, the snake builder. He's like, Shinobu, this is useless. Let's just kill him already. And she's like, don't be hasty now. Please, the boy doesn't know how he got here. He just appeared, so let's show him hospitality and help him. Okay, Obanai? Fine. We will by your orders. Yes, it makes sense. I am Obanai Iguro, the serpent pillar. Serpent? And then, um... And then, uh, what's this? Stupid autocorrect. It messed with, uh, um... I'm looking back and autocorrect messed with, uh, sound pillar's name. Hold up, give me one sec. And then, uh, one dude's like, I will flamboyantly introduce myself because that's how he is. Flamboyant. 
Oh, man. He's like, I'm Tengen Uzui, the sound pillar. And then another one was like, I'm Gi Tomioka, the water pillar. And then uh, another girl, she she comes closer and she's like, well, I'm I'm Mitsuri Kanroji, the love pillar. Deku turned to look at her and saw the massive fucking titties near his face. And he his face turned red and he looked away. She's like, is something wrong? He's like, no, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, and then, uh, then again, the dude crying is like, I am Gyome Himejima, the stone pillar and the strongest of them all. You're like, wow, the strongest? If you didn't know, yeah, Gyome is the strongest pillar, the strongest Hashira. And, um, then someone with, uh, red and orange hair is like, I am Kyojuro Rengoku. It is a pleasure to meet you, even though I still do not trust you. Because that's kind of his attitude, loud, but opt- and optimistic and everything. I'm Sinem- Sanami Shinazugawa, the wind pillar. And then, uh, and then he said scoffing. Uh, and then, uh, I don't know who says this. I forgot who I said said this. But um, it's like, Muichiro, introduce yourself. And I'm like, huh? Oh, I was looking at the cloud. But I'm Muichiro Tokito, the mist pillar. What's with all this stuff you're mentioning? What do you mean by pillar and by the names like mist, water, love, wind? What does that mean? And then, um, fuck, I forgot his name. Here we go. Kagaya Ibu Yashiki. So, he, Kagaya, he just says, um, well, let me explain. Um, it's, it's based off their concentration breathing technique. Concentration breathing is a difficult technique that takes time to master. Some even create their own breath styles, such as love, and some are branches of the main elemental styles, such as mist is a branch of the wind. If uh, you didn't know this, uh, it was explained in the manga. So, um, yeah. And and Deku's like, so what is this place anyway? And why do you guys have swords? And, um... Um... Uh, Guillaume, Guillaume, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't know why. I literally just said his name and I forgot. Um, yeah, it's Guillaume. Um, so he's just like, he just says, um, I lost myself, man. And he's like, oh, there we go. Found myself. And Guillaume is just like, we are the strongest demon slayers in the demon slayer core. Demon Slayer core? Wait, demons slayer means kill. And then, um, Ubu, uh, why do I keep forgetting his name? Kaguya, Kagaya, yeah, Kagaya. He, he just says, yes, if you did not know demons exist and, and plague this world. Not many people believe they exist until they end up being attacked or eaten by them. So demons exist and they eat people? Yes, many people die, but the Demon Slayer Corps is dedicated to killing them and helping people. Incredible. So how old are you, Izuku Midoriya? I, I'm 11. So young. Oh, would you like to help in this cause? What do you mean? Would you like to help us? And then Deku's like, but I I don't have a quirk or this concentration breathing you said. Uh, And then Kagaya is like, what is a quirk? The pillars are also confused and like, and then um, Kagaya is like, "Uh, okay, please, would you leave us? Will you please leave us? And we will have a meeting afterward, and I will explain everything. And the uh, Hashirara are like, yes, sir. And they leave. 
they bow and leave. You are not from this world, are you? For it sound, from what it sounds like, I'm not. So what are quirks? Where I'm from, everyone is born with powers called quirks, and, well, I wasn't. I was born quirkless. I was bullied, and they beat me up because I didn't have a power. Interesting. And he's like, yeah, I really hoped I had a quirk so I could be a hero and save people. Kagaya's like, interesting. Please, tell me more. Well, when quirks first appeared, some used them for evil and... Then others rose up to be heroes and st stop the villains. And then he says, um, he's like, I really wanted to be a hero, but since I was quirkless, I couldn't. I was weak. I wanted to be the number one hero, the strongest, but I couldn't because I was quirkless. Hmm. Well, you can be a hero here. And he's like, Really? Yes, you can be a hero by saving people from the demons. I can have the Hashira train you to be almost, become a swordsman, become a demon slayer. They can either teach you a concentration breathing style they know, or you can create your own. But it's very difficult to create your own from scratch. It's like, so you, they could trade me so I could become a hero and stop demons and save people? Yes. But they, they sound scary. Well, they are. They eat and kill people. They are brutal creatures. And there's only one way to stop them. Either when the sun comes up and touches them, they will disintegrate. But also a special type of sword that is specifically crafted for each person can also kill them. And the only way to kill them with this sword is by cutting off their head. Any other part of the body can regenerate quickly, especially if they eat eaten many humans. So I have to... To kill them? Deku said with his voice trembling. Yes, there is no other way. You will need to learn to kill and be cold to demons. And the Hashira can teach you that. Okay. Your training will begin after the meeting. You may wait here for now. Okay. Thank you. He leaves and Deku thinks to himself, I can create my own style to fight, save people, to be a hero in this world. I will make my st breathing style the hero style. Hero breathing. Once I learn the basics of, te of the technique of concentration breathing, that's my plan. And after an hour, Rengoku, uh, Tomioka, Yome, and Muichiro come up to him and then uh they're all like we have at the same time we have decided to be the ones to train you and each one teaches deku a new skill if you haven't seen how badass the mist pillar is with his sword in the because in the manga holy shite he is a badass fighter so he that's literally all he gains from Muichiro. no personality yet other reset just bad assery with the sword and then um you know he gains strength with uh Gyome, he he gains like physical strength and the and the you know the coldness to do what is necessary you know like um um let's see kind of like if to torture a demon to get information because of Gyome, he's able to do that. Like, he, he kind of gained that personality. Like, I'm sorry, but I will do what I have to do what I must. And uh, with Tomioka, he gained calmness in battle. Um, yeah, he was able... He, with Tomioka, he learned to be calm and compelled in battle and to not let his emotions get the better of him. With Rengoku, he also trained... I mean, same thing. Everyone's uh, training him to be... A, uh, sword, like a demon slayer. So they're all training him with a sword, but he, with, uh, Rengoku, he gains a very optimistic attitude. And in between the training with all, with the four of them, he works on hero breathing, but they also, to teach him the basics of, uh, of concentration breathing, they teach the, he has also learned mist, 
uh, mist, flame, water, and stone. So he's kind of a badass, but he mostly uses um, hero breathing. So th this is over four years that he trains and does all this. Um, but once he created his first five techniques for hero breathing, he, he mastered, uh, he began to master heal, uh, concentration breathing constant. And then after the four years, he finally created all 14 styles. And right now I'm about to explain those badass styles for you because, oh man, it took us like me and my friend, like. 30 minutes to finally come up with all 14, but we were able to do it. So, hero breathing first style, hero slash. His muscle, he increases his muscle mass in, in his arms to put more power into the strike. Uh, style two, survivor check. This allows him to enhance his hearing, basically as good as in Etsy, to search an area for injured people uh and also know if there are other demons in the area from afar so he could just be standing in the middle of town he uses this breath style in a destroyed town and uh he then hears like a family trapped under rubber rubble so he can this also helps him uh find demons so style three vanishing strike this increase this allows him to increase the strength in his legs to boost his speed uh, to so he could maneuver around the battlefield faster. Kind of like using full cowling. Um, style 4 is free movement. This is allows him to move freely around the battlefield as if he was dancing to dodge almost any attack. Uh, style 5 is air slash. like Similar to like literally a smash. Um, he uses the force to create a wind projectile that, that can cut, like, could cut a demon. Um, style six is heroic aid, an improved version of the healing breath technique. If you don't know what the healing breath technique is, uh, it's, uh, you use your concentration breathing to, like, stop bleed, stop, uh, wounds from bleeding, stuff like that. And, um, but it's an improvised version to help him heal fatal wounds. And, um, he can, he can also heal others as well using this technique. So let's say he got a chunk of his arm cut off. He, uh, all he has to do is use this, uh, breath style and the wound will close quickly. Style seven is heroic pride. And um, this makes him basically immune to fear. Let's say he's going up against Muzan, and uh, he's fucking terrified. If he uses this, he won't. He uh, he will no longer be scared, and it also slows the effect of poison. And it also it can also uh, keep him from feeling the pain of the poison as well. A style is beyond on limits. Basically, plus ultra. This allows him to go beyond the limits of his physical body. It also increases his defense, but when he's done using it, the parts of his body that were hit or he used like his arms or legs become broken. And this is um, really one of his last resort um, techniques. Ninth style is into the shadows. This allows Deco to, to minimize his presence and mix with his smart analytic mind. It allows him to take the time to study the demon and its weaknesses if he's having trouble killing it. But once he begins to attack, the technique fades away. Tenth style is until dawn. Um, this style allows him to, once he stabbed a demon um, with, a Nichiri, with a Nichiri blade, he can use the technique by, uh, yeah, he could just use the technique and um, let it flow into the blade and it, the demon becomes instantly paralyzed and will not be released until death or the blade is pulled out. So this allows Deku to, so he can get information and uh, if there are multiple demons or there's a, there's a demon but there's a destroyed city and he still needs to look for survivors, 
quickly, he can use this technique and then uh, leave the demon there and run off to find, you know, people. And then uh, the 11 style is Cyclone Slash. While using free movement, he uses this technique where he spins at alarming speeds at his target to build up momentum for a swift and clean cut. Twelfth style is Cloud Slash. Cloud Slash. Same concept as the Cyclone Slash, but this is for when either a demon is far away or he needs to keep his distance from one. So, let's say the demon had like a demon blood art. Um, where it allowed him, kind of like if he was fighting against Rui. There we go. That's a good explanation. Like if he was fighting against Rui, he'd pro he'd have to use this uh technique a lot. Um, and also it's also good if they have better close combat skills than he does, which is kind of not possible. Uh, which is kind of not possible. So thirteenth uh, style is Burning Justice. When he uses this attack, it uses an aspect of flame breathing to it. So whenever it cuts, it burns the area that is uh, cut, causing pain. And even after re it, the pain stays even after regeneration. And it's pretty bad pain. Like, it hurts. And finally, the 14th style, United States of Slash. That's right. Uh, this is his strongest attack and his true last resort. It can kill almost any demon in one attack and can only be used once once a month because of the serious damage it causes to his body. And boom, that's uh, all 14 breath styles. And uh, the demons that I kind of can't kill unless he mixes it with uh, other techniques like uh, the first style, second style, and uh, fourth style... No, not first style, second style. First style, third style, and fourth style with it because he could mix his styles up. He, like, he could use them together to create stronger attacks. Um, I'm pretty sure that's happened before. Kind of like, kind of like, literally, it's kind of like how um, Tanjiro used Dance of the Fire God and the, and, uh, the water breathing 10th form to help him try and kill Rui. Either way, it's back to the story so it's time for him to join in on the final selection since he wanted to finish his breath technique before he did it so over the four years he's gained incredible strength and is strong enough to cut off cut like you remember that one big ass demon with covered in arms and stuff from the final selection he could literally cut out, cut off its head without using a breath style and he also has the, a loner blade, like Tanjiro. This is it. Time to become a vi an official member of the Demon Slayer ranks and arise to Hashira. And he looks around. And he sees a boy with yellow hair. And also a boy with a scar under his eye. Keeps looking around. See sees a, another boy in a blue kimono with some earrings. There's a lot of interesting people here. The twins come out and explain the situation. Survive seven days in the for in a forest full of captured demons. And Deku's just like, survive seven days in a forest full of captured de demons? No problem. And just see if I need to use the use my breath, save as many people as I can. And then he wa when he walked into the forest, two demons charged him and he just cut their heads off cleanly he runs around and saved a bunch of other kids people around his age um from demons but after they just ran and left wait you'll die damn it these idiots are just gonna get themselves killed then he hears a commotion he runs over to see a giant abnormal looking demon and a boy and with kind of like a fox mask Cut off one of the arms, saving someone, but they immediately run away. Because right after, they just run away. I don't know what. I'll watch for now. I'll only intervene if something bad happens. Seems to have it under control for now. Uh, he watches the boy fight the demon. And then he watches him use the water breathing technique. I forgot which one it was. 
to cut off his head. So he knows water breathing. Could this be the person Tomoyoka san said that his teacher was training? He watches uh, Tanjiro sympathize with the demon, making him feel at peace in his final moments. This boy truly is kind. Deku smiles and knows this kid will survive. He runs off and on the last day when he, reach he reaches the inn. He walks out of the forest to see he's the first person there. Next is a girl with a butterfly pin in her hair. Then the boy with the scar. The boy in yellow who's still shaking from fear. I'm surprised the scare won't survive. He must be strong then. And finally, Tanjiro comes out. Uh, and in his head, Deku was like, I knew he'd survive. The twins explain that it's time for them to pick the ore for their swords. And after seeing Tanjiro pick, Deku touches his heart. Like, puts his hand over his heart, then hovers his hand over the oars. Picks one up and then picks a small, smaller one up as well. I want my sword to be made out of this one. And a short sword made out of this one. Um, Tanjiro's like, why do you want two? It's important for a technique I use. Just because with one of... Oh, shit. I accidentally... With one of the techniques I have with my hero... With my breathing technique, it requires a second sword. And Tanjiro's like, oh, I understand. And they, the two smile at each other. I'm pretty sure that they're, they're going to be, they're, they'd be best friends. And then um, they say, the twins are like, your place will be delivered in two weeks. You are now Mizunoto, the lowest rank in the Demon Slayer Corps. Deku look at, looks at them and is like, okay, so what are the ranks? The Demon Slayer ranks are consisted of Mizunoto, Mizu, Mizunoe, Kanoto, Kanoe, Suchinoto, Suchino, Such, Suchinoe, Honoto, Hinoe, Kinoto, Kinoe, and finally Hashira. Fuck, I had trouble saying that. Um, God. Uh, but he's like, I know the last one already. I need to work hard so I can reach that ring quickly. Once I get my sword and the uniform, it's time for work. Then become a Hashira. And Deku leaves and heads for the main house. Because he kind of lives there, kind of doesn't. It all depends on how he feels. But he travels, but he travels, but he also mainly lives there. And then, uh... After two weeks, someone comes and delivers the blade, and the they said these blades were forged with the most respect, and as requested by the leader of the organization, Kabaya Kagaya, they were crafted by the village chief, and I came to deliver them. If you don't know, man, there's gonna be some manga spoilers in here for you, if you haven't read the manga. But in the manga, the well, in Demon Slayer, the where the swordsmiths live, it's it's a hidden village. Uh the village hidden in the swords. I had to I had to do it. Um so um it's a village hidden and not many people know where it's at, only uh Kagaya and I forgot who else. Um but they only he knows the actual location. And, um, the village chief is the best of the best for all of them, out of all the, the, the craftsmen. So, Deku, do, uh, Kagaya requested that Deku get his sword made by them. Incredible, such amazing craftsmanship. He's, he hasn't picked one up yet. He's looking at them. And the deliver, the person delivering, it's like... You know what the blade can do, right? Yes, it changes color according to the person. And Deku picks up his main blade near the at the hilt, obviously. And um, but at the hilt is a very light green, and as it goes up, it slowly gets darker till the tip of the blade wears the darkest shade of green. 
here we go, something like this. Like lighter it gets and then it gets darker to uh, the darkest one here. That's kind of how it is. That's kind of how the blade is uh, looking. Anyway, he's like incredible. This is amazing. So it must be the same for my short sword. And when he picks it up, it does the same. He walks out the door with both swords sheathed and he leaves for a job. In the town, he kills a demon before it could even do anything. Like, before it could even attack him, he just cuts off his head. But then his crow comes down and tells him, Tomioka-san wants to see you. Please report to the main house. What is it, Tomioka? And then he heads there and he's like, what is it, Tomioka-san? Tomioka turns around and then he says, you're a demon slayer now. It's time I test your skill. Now fight me. And uh, Deku brings out his sword and he's like, <laughs> with pleasure. And then he charges Tomiyoka, who, who slashes him at him, but Deku blocks it. Your reflexes are good. The two trade blows for 10 straight minutes. And then Tomiyoka's like, Muichiro and the others truly taught you well. Tomiyoka then stood there, just put with his blade toward the ground. So you're going to use it then, huh? Damn, I still need to figure out how to counter this move and win. Water breathing, 11th style. Dead calm. And then Deku said, Hero breathing, 9th style. Into the shadows. He disappeared from Tomioka's, Tomioka's view for only a few seconds. I need to find a weak spot. Where? Deku just circles around Tomioka and then Tomioka sends a sends a strike at Deku, but he blocks it. I was able to sense your presence with this. Um you can't hide and look for a weak spot. Deku smiled and said, Hero breathing, fifth style, air slash. And then he sent multiple air slashes at Tomioka, but Dead Calm dispersed it. Let's try enhancing it. Hero breathing, first style. Hero Slash mixed with Hero Breathing, 5th style, Air Slash, and powerful gusts of wind were sent to Tomioka, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again, until it breaks through. The more he does this, the more the weather switches from sunny to rain, because mix the Air Slash mixed with, uh, mixed with, uh, Hero Slash, where... He rapidly increases his strength. It's strong enough to change the weather. Yeah. Sorry for the yawn. But it's strong enough to change the weather. Sumiyoko gives a small smile. He's not giving up. That's one thing that hasn't changed. And then Deku drops to his knees from exhaustion. Because the um, Tomiyoko is just standing there and boom, dispersed. I can't beat it. Not now, but soon. You still don't give up, and that is what will make you one of the strongest Hashira to exist. Keep it up. You may go now. Rest up. Thanks for the opportunity, Tomioka-san. And he leaves to rest. The next day, Deku wakes up, his crow is on his window. Go to the village two miles from here. There is a demon. Kill it as quickly as possible. And uh, Deku throws his, uh, his kind of cape on. Because, yeah, he literally has that. And he leaves. When he gets to the village, it, um, he asks around. He's looking around. Because it's, by the time he did this, um, you know, because he got ready. And then he went, he was looking around, he was getting information. And by the time it was night, he found, when he found the, uh, out where the demon was, Someone told him, um, there's already another demon slayer fighting here. And Deku's just like, oh, I, I can aid him then. Um, uh, he runs to the woods and sees a demon cutting a head off. Damn demons killing our men. And then he launches himself at, at the demon 
but the demon blocks the blade with a shotgun. And if you don't know who this is, I'm sorry for the spoilers again. Because there's going to be a kind of a lot of spoilers in this. Because this person is uh, Genya. If you don't know who Genya is, he has he's the dude with the with the scar under his eye, and he's the brother of uh, the Wind Pillar. But you know he's kind of a dick. But oh man, is he a badass fighter! I love what he's able to do. So not only does he have a knee cheating shotgun, yes, he has a knee cheating double barreled shotgun. Gun, but he has a technique that messes with his cells where when he eats um when he eats the flesh of a demon he gains the abilities of a demon like he gains the strength and everything and then um and then Dirk is like what and um again he is like why are you Attacking me. I'm a fellow demon slayer. What? Then why are you a demon? I don't need to tell you. And he walks away. Th their friendship is kind of going to be like. Um, a Bakugo Deku friendship. But uh, then after a certain fight. Which uh, happens in the manga. He's going to become nice. And then uh, he's like. Please tell me how you're able to do that. And what's your name? I don't need to tell you. How about we fight and I make you tell me. Not only do I know four different breath styles, but I can also use my own. And he, he usually says this if people want to fight against them that are weaker, like to train and fight against them. Uh, he usually says this to intimidate them. So And then Deck is just like, so if I win, you tell me. If you can do that, you already won. Fine, I'll tell you who I am. And why I cannot, why I can do that. My name is Genya Shinazugawa. Yeah, Shinazugawa. That's the last name of the wind pillar. My brother. My goal is to become a Hashira, even though I can't use breath techniques. And become close with my brother again. Um, but if I eat the flesh of a living demon, I gain demonic attributes and it messes with myself and also makes me look like a demon. So who are you? My name is Izuku Midoriya. You know, your attitude reminds me of an old bully, <laughs> but I was trained by the stone, water, flame and mist Hashira. I can use those four, also, but also the style I created on my own, the hero style. But before I explain why, can I trust you? That's for you to figure out on your own. Well, I trust you and I think we can be friends. So let's be friends. He holds out his hand and Genya shakes it and he's like, Genya only agrees because, you know, Deku's strong. And he literally says it. You're strong. I know I can't beat you. So then we're friends now. And then uh, Deku's like, okay, so I'm not from this world. And Deku explains, explains the entire story. And I see, I understand now. Well, let's move. There's more demons to kill. And the two leave and go on more missions together. Like these missions take place when, you know, they find Inosuke. And, find, and then, like when they find Inosuke and fight the previous lower six... Um, when they get a job, head to the village five days from here, villagers and villagers and any, any demon slayer we sent have disappeared. Please hurry and find and kill the demon responsible. And the two begin their quest to the village. And this is the end of part one for what if Deku was isekai to demon slayer. Because um, I'm currently working on part two because um, it ain't going to be no ordinary demon that they're going to fight in uh, the next part. Oh, I hurt myself. Oh, we'll walk. Oh, I hurt. Anyway, but it ain't going to be no normal 
uh, demon. It's going to be a uh, freaking uh, uh, upper. No, not upper. Why would I do? Why would I do them like that right now? A lower moon. It's going to be the fourth lower moon. Stronger than Rui, but the fight lasts faster since it's just by itself and they didn't have to deal with like 30 other. They, no, I'm just kidding. I'm exaggerating. They didn't have to deal with like five other demons to be able to, to um, win. So the um, so I'm going to tell you what her demonic demon blood art is in the next part. And I really hope you enjoyed this. And um, have a nice day, morning, night. I don't give a fuck. Just have a nice um, whatever. And uh, enjoy your life. Goodbye.